It is 35 degrees and cloudy in Bloomington, Indiana. It is 80 degrees and perfect in Tampa. Jackson with a chance from the five. And up the sideline and all the way up to the 34-yard line. Bring that edge pressure to set the edge, make him work up the middle, not side to side. Corral on play action, goes deep over the middle again. That one's caught by Dontario Drummond, and he gets hit inside the 10, all the way down to the 34-yard line. A part me, a gain of 34. Mac Brown is the holder. Logan for 26. And Ole Miss able to cap its opening drive with a three. He's got the leg, and he splits it. And we are locked at three after that drive by Indiana. They'll call this a 25-yard attempt. And he punches it through. Ole Miss rushes for They almost got to him. Stevie Scott breaks some tackles and takes it to the 40. There's your third and 20 play. Find your two-time all-conference running back out of the backfield. Kelly, the motion man. Pump fake, pressure, and Corral barely escapes it, but goes down behind the line of scrimmage. And a sack for Indiana, Jerome Johnson. By the way, one of their defenses, most of them are named after Tampa Bay teams, including Bolt. After the lightning pressure, Corral steps up, tries to scramble. He's got the first down and takes it all the way to the 20. 17-yard scramble for Matt Corral. 18th play of the drive for the Rebels. Corral pulls it back, lob, touchdown, just as you described. You are back on it. Casey Kelly with the touchdown catch for the Rebels. And this is what Ole Miss does. They lull you to sleep. Run, run, run. And Matt Corral is so good at the play action. He comes from across the formation. And that's so hard for Cam Jones. 12th in the country in sacks allowed per game. Settle. Long throw to the outside. Complete to Fry Fogel. And a first down for Indiana. Pickup of 20. Let's see if they can protect and get enough time. You think they work down here to the bunch and walk failure. Number one in Crimson. Tuttle looking that way. Pressured again. It is intercepted. Taken away by Ole Miss. And an opportunity for a return for Otis Reese. He coughed it up on the hit. And it's a scramble for the loose ball. Hoosiers think they got it back. Reese, the Georgia transfer, wasn't eligible until the end of the season. His first game was the rivalry game against Mississippi State. Otis Reese here on the back end of this bunch. This is the same exact play they tried to hit earlier. Walk failure on the corner route. Same thing, Tuttle was falling away. It was just an incompletion because he threw it high. That time, couldn't get enough velocity on it because of the pressure. And Otis Reese right where he needs to be. See him falling away with the pressure. Couldn't get enough on that ball to get it up and over Reese. How happy are they to have Otis Reese? Pressure coming. Corral tries to pull it down. Instead, it gets taken down. A big sack for Indiana and Cam Jones. Pressure gets out of the end zone and gets taken down at the two. First sack of the day for Ole Miss. That's Scott. Straight ahead. Plenty of room to punt it out of there, especially with the first down. No concern now. Give yourself some room or pick up the first down. Yeah. Under a minute to go. Corral sidesteps, slings it to a wide open Drummond, and he crawls forward near midfield. First and ten, pressure coming from everybody up the middle. Corral trying to escape, stumbled out of the backfield. We'll try to unload over the middle and caught. First down, Ole Miss could have been a lot more. A gain of 11, the clock goes to six. Senior from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. He's already made a couple today. Blocked at the line of scrimmage. Scooped up by Indiana. 
53 yard field goal for Charles Campbell. He's already made from 50. There it is. 53 yards and a new career high for Campbell, a new Indiana ball record. The more explosive you are, the more that thing starts to linger and keep acting up. Snoop Connor. Snoop Connor on the streak to the five. 33 yard run straight ahead for the sophomore out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Three seconds to answer Indiana's three with seven for the Reds. Great long run by Snoop Connor, then a short win. It was all on the ground for Ole Miss. On second and five, out to Fillier. Tried to lead him, and Fillier puts it up field and lost the football. Recovered by Ole Miss. Jalen Jordan finds it on the turf, and the Rebels have another takeaway. Bob Fillier, who's been really the best player on offense all day for Indiana. Looks like he's trying to get the stiff arm here and just loses complete control of the ball. I'm not sure if Tylen Knight got a hand in there. Oh yeah, Tylen yeah. Knight came in with that right arm, arm ripping through a guy that... Transferred into Indiana, second start here today. Stevie Scott finds the edge, gets it blocking down the sideline. Scott scampers out of bounds at the 12 yard line. It's a 21 yard run. Tuttle has relied on failure 14 of his completions are there, and now they'll go wildcat here. Stevie Scott takes the snap straight ahead over the goal line and in. Touchdown, Indiana, on a wildcat. You mentioned the Penn State win. Sometimes it's moments like that that really galvanize a football team. Deep out, complete, Dontario Drummond, first down, Ole Miss, a pickup of 27. Deep to coordinator for Indiana, starts coming back to some of the pressures. Force the issue a little bit here in the fourth quarter. Indiana late getting a man off the field, Parrish turns it upfield, and he's got a 12-yard run on first down. Here's a 37-yard attempt for Logan, he's already made from 26 and 24. Strong leg, but goes wide. And Indiana holds Ole Miss after an impressive drive to that point. Williams laid off the ball. Tuttle has the pocket. Caught! First down, Indiana! Miles Marshall climbs the ladder for an 18-yard gain. Tuttle splits out wide. It's Scott to take the snap. Straight ahead. Touchdown! Indiana! From two yards out. Second touchdown of the game for Stevie Scott. Go back to the Wildcat down on the goal line, but I tell you what, that is, that's an answer. He's coming up huge today for Ole Miss. He has elite speed. Corral looking for him again. Here he is! John Rice plumbly up the numbers to the outside, and he takes it to the five. 45-yard catch and run. The play design, hard play action, gets all those linebackers to look at Matt Corral and you slip. A lot of things they do would be thought of as non-traditional, maybe 10 years ago. Play action, Corral fires. That is caught in the end zone for an Ole Miss touchdown. Threading the needle to Ontario Drummond. And Ontario Drummond. Let's see if he had possession while he's still over the line here. Three minutes to go in regulation. Tuttle crossing route. There's Ellis trying to get all the way across the field. He's got an Indiana first down and a few more in Ole Miss territory on a gain of 18. Pressure coming. Nowhere to go. Can't afford to take a sack, and that's what happens to Jack Tuttle. It's a loss of six. 
With a bunch of second stringers, really, he throws for 342 and a couple of touchdowns. And Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss knock off Indiana 26 to 20. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.